Well, North Melbourne didn't waste any time over the weekend re-establishing themselves as the AFLW's powerhouse with a comprehensive win over Geelong. And we're now joined by North's small forward, Ellie Gavalis. Ellie, you must have enjoyed the uh, season start with such an impressive style up with a record win playing out of the... Uh, the ruck as well, and the king kicking three goals. What a day for the uh, for the uh, North Melbourne Kangaroos! Yeah, you're absolutely right, Warren. Um, it was definitely a good day down in Geelong for us. Um, yeah, as North, um, and just a good good chance for everything to come together for us. Um, obviously, having um, you know the year off with. Uh, everything to do with COVID um, and then being able to come together and put it all together yesterday. So it was pretty awesome. What about those three goals? Kicked by uh, Emma King playing out of the ruck. She also had uh, eight disposals and nine hitouts as well. How important will she be to your challenge uh, this season? Oh, yeah, King is awesome. She, um, yeah, three snags in the first quarter is not too bad. And then, um, you know, if you watch her, she just runs up and down the ground. So... Um, and all those hit out. So it makes us our jobs is, um, you know, around the contest a lot easier when we've got someone like Emma King in there. Well, it must have been pretty easy because you kicked three goals yourself. Uh, what are you hoping to mm -hmm. achieve with your game this season? Yeah, look, obviously it was, it was nice to get the three goals, um, but I think the most pleasing thing was just that, you know, we came together as a team. So I think for me personally, just continuing to play my role um, in, the, in the team. So, um, and then obviously hoping to do pretty well as a team um, towards the end of the season. How, uh, how strong is the desire within the team to achieve uh, the ultimate this year after having such a good season last year, but having mm. the season cancelled just before you were to play off for a grand final spot? Yeah, yeah. No, the desire is very high. Um, we're all, um, you know, that's the goal this year for us. So, um, yeah, we're, we're pretty keen to, to take it all the way for sure. Uh, I was impressed with what I saw over the weekend as far as the skills on display. From your point of view, you're out there amongst it all. How do you think that the league is developing over the past couple of seasons now? Yeah, it's developing pretty well, I think. Um, you know, if you look at where it's come from, it's, it's, a, it's the fifth year now of um, AFLW, and I think every year it's just getting quicker, um, faster. Yeah, and as you said, the touch is getting better. So um, I think the development's been pretty fast. There's always plenty of talk about the skill level in the game. What do you mm. make of all that banter when it goes back and forth and people have their say? Yeah, look, I think people are always going to have their opinions and that's OK, but um, I think a lot of people don't realise sort of where it's come from. It's, as I said, it's the fifth year and um, it's going to take time to build into, um, you know, to get to where we want it to get to. But I think it's definitely um, improving, as I said. But, yeah, look, I think some of the comments you just have to... No, not take too seriously and just keep working hard um, and improving your own game and not focus on too much of the external stuff. Yeah, I think take them with a grain of salt. Uh, mm. what's, your, what's your usual week look like in the build-up to a game? Yeah, so um, we're training. So we're training, obviously, uh, a few times a week down at Arden Street. And then all of us have our um, careers outside of footy as well. So I work as a physio. So um, working... Yeah, at Black Emotion, Blackburn, um, you know, four days a week there and then training. So um, it's busy, but it's good. It's a busy time and it is a big commitment, of course. And now we have the uh, WA border closures. It's caused a bit of havoc for the, mm. uh, the two Perth teams, plus the Crows and Giants. Uh, are you confident the AFL have got the matter in hand? Absolutely. I mean, look, the health and safety of, um, you know, everyone in the game and, and the wider community has to always remain number one priority. Um, and the AFL will continue to, you know, follow and listen to the government and health officials. So, um, yeah, we're totally back in the AFL, whatever, um, you know, has to be done. Yeah, we'll see how that uh, plays out, of course, over the days mm. ahead. Uh, outside of yourselves, who's the, be the team to beat this season? Ooh, well, obviously, we went down to the Pies in the, in the practice game before the season, so I think the Pies are looking all right. Um, Fremantle is still up there. So, um, yeah, I think there's a few, a few different teams that are... Um, contenders, so it'll be good to take them on when we get a chance to. Well, thanks for your time. Uh, good luck for the rest of the season and uh, good luck this coming weekend. No worries. Thanks for having us.